Okay, the question asked has to deal with continuity of a piecewise function. I just posted this picture here on board two that has the definition of continuity. Uh, I'm not going to read through it. You can pause the video and take notes, but you should have the same type of thing in your calculus book also. But here's, here's the uh, question that was asked. Here's the definition of this piecewise function. It has values of A and B at different spots for the definition of the pieces. And we're asked to find the values of A and B that make this function continuous for all values of X. And where there's a problem is when X is equal to 2 and when X is equal to negative 1. The problem is you can see when, right now, this is a picture of a graph for different values of A and B. When X is negative 1, you can see for this one rule, we've got this empty circle right here at its end point. And then we've got this 15.3 here with this solid circle. In order for the function to be continuous, these dots have to match up. And the same for when X is 2 these this dot has to match up with this dot and i'll go ahead and go to desmos and show you what's going on so if i change the values of a and b oh there that that kind of matched up but they're they're not matching up we've got a piece of a parabola over here a piece of a parabola over here and this straight line segment linear between negative one and two inclusive so how can we get those to match up? Uh, there's the values of A and B right now. If I reset this to the correct answer, you're going to see that the open circle and the solid circles match up with each other. So there, the function is continuous. And the values of A and B are 4 and negative 2, respectively. Now, how do you figure that out? Well, let's go to board 3. <clears throat> when x is 2... We want the function definitions uh, to be equal, e even though this, this function is really not defined when x equals 2. We still want the limit as x approaches 2 for this function to equal this function value. So substitute 2 in for x, and you'll get an equation containing an a and a b. I simplified it down to this. Do the same thing over here for x equals negative 1. I'll let you do that. And then at that point, you'll have two equations and two unknowns. Solve that system using substitution or addition and elimination. And you'll get that final answer. When a is 4 and b is negative 2, you will have a continuous piecewise function. There you go. Hope that helped. I will include the link to the Desmos graph that was used in this uh, answer. If you have any questions, post a comment.